Welcome, one and all, to a Wednesday Night Extravaganza! Today on ZBrush Live! <laughs> How's everybody doing? Long time, no see. <laughs> well, for, uh, for me, it's been longer. For you, it's only been a week. <laughs> Ah, how's everybody doing? Let me uh, open up all of the goodies just to make sure that I've got uh, all my tools up and ready, ready to go. Uh, earlier when Ashley was on, she was uh, she was running into some issues with with the with the restream chat chat, and so just want to make sure that that's up and running. Okay, first item of business. Okay, uh, here's the character that we started last week. Had this on another window and the introduction scared the crap out of me. <laughs> awesome! <laughs> I'm glad I could do that for you, Peta. All right. Cool, that'll work. Hello to India. Oops, didn't mean to do that. Let's come over here actually. And just gotta lock some things down. Cause that's kind of embarrassing. All right, text. We'll just lock it all down. Oh, that's unlocked now. Okay, we're good, all right. Cool, cool. All right, so. A few business items. I'll mention it a few times throughout the st throughout the stream, but uh, I decided to do a little giveaway. So what we're gonna do? We've got some items here, ZBrush themed items. Okay, got the uh, got some stickers, got a mouse pad. Uh, this one's kind of a cool. Uh, ZBrush logo sticker, you know, another ZBrush sticker. A couple of my own things, you know, my Fishbot 2.0. It's a little bit too close to focus on. Um, this is a, a button, okay, so you can stick it onto onto stuff. And uh, a ZBrush new, uh, what do they call this? New era hat, okay. Uh, this is going to be a, a giveaway, okay. This is something that. Uh, but I'm, you know, I just want to give it away. Uh, I might actually add in a ZBrush lanyard too. I've got a couple of extras lying around. So the way that you enter is going to be by going on to uh, onto Instagram. I'll show you oop, 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 oop. if I can get my phone to work. Here we go. There we go. And then uh, so I've got that. Oh, we gotta add a sticker, and the sticker's gotta be the questions one. Enter your name and location. Okay, gonna this is gonna be on my Instagram. So if you want to be able to enter the giveaway, in fact, here let's let's uh prop this up down here so you guys can see it okay so this is our these are our giveaway items okay stuff that I'm giving away I will mail it to you wherever you are okay just something fun okay so let's just do this real quick okay let's actually let's see if there's a cool gif uh, give Away. Let's use this one. It's kind of cool. It's got these bright colors and everything. Okay. So go follow me on Instagram. You'll see in my stories, you'll see this post. And inside of the, the box here, <coughs> you just need to click on it and you will... Uh, you can go in, you put in your name and where you're from. So if, if it were me, hey, nice shadow, how you doing? <laughs> if it were me entering the, the giveaway, 
I would go through and I would put in Steven Anderson, Los Angeles, California. That's it. I don't want you to put your address in here. Whoever I, uh, whoever gets selected from the, um, from whatever has been put in by the end of the stream today, the, uh, that they'll they'll be you know I'll be able to communicate with them through private message, and we'll be able to uh, send them the swag. So uh, yeah, ZBrush Live stuff. Some cool uh, some cool smartest stickers. Okay. So yeah, uh, head on over to Instagram and enter. It is now posted. <laughs> okay. Just to make sure. Ooh, ZBrush Live in zero minutes and zero seconds. This is so fantastic. Woohoo. Uh, Pop turrets, sweet. Okay. And there we go. The giveaway. So. Get at it. Get at it. All right. So now we can put that to the side. <laughs> okay, giveaway. We will be selecting a uh, name at random from the uh, list of people who put in their name and where they're from. And, uh, yeah. Go get it. Go get it. A hat. Well, we'll be adding a lanyard. You know, just having fun with it. Stickers, uh, mouse pad, all of it ZBrush themed or Steven themed. <laughs> so, so yeah. Go tell your friends. Go tell people. Go have fun. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. This is the character that we started last week for um, for our scene. Okay. Now he's still got a long way to go but we were able to get a decent amount of work done on him so that uh, he's ready for us for this week <coughs> okay let me see some of the things that I gotta work on include everything come on you there we go a lot of what I gotta do Look at that. This needs to be creased all the way around the opening, so let's go ahead and let's start by creasing that. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. That's that's fun that you enjoy it. And it's, it's interesting, so uh, Indie Respawn, um, I totally feel you. I mean, last week, I was going through and I felt so super pressured. Not by, not by the clock, not by anybody in particular other than myself. Um, I wanted to really push myself and see, see how far I could get him um, by the end of the stream really see uh, what I was capable of trying to push myself uh, so that's always always a fun challenge oops it's part of the uh, when I was part of the uh, the live sculpt off for the ZBrush summit um, that was part of the reason why I wanted to participate in that was because I wanted to see what I was capable of. Um, take this down a little. That's too strong. That is too strong. I'm trying to decide if I if I'm liking everything that's going on with this so far. It's okay if I'm not. I can go ahead and I can tweak things. We're early enough into the stage of this that uh, we're not going to be really losing any time if we go back and make changes and tweaks. Um, the actor that plays Sang Soong in the Mortal Kombat movie. Cool. 
yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe I'm like being influenced, kind of, uh, kind of, uh, what's that called? Uh, sub, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I think whatever Ashley was having that she was so bad with words earlier, it's kind of uh, rubbing off on me somehow. It's like, <laughs> I can't think. Um, subliminal? It's like subliminal messaging, but subliminal everything else. All right, that's, that's probably good enough for that. All right. I had that little spot right here on the cheek that I felt kind of... <sighs> unhappy about. So I wanted to kind of tweak it and see if I could get it to... Okay. To better fit the contour of what I feel like his face should be. And then one of the things I was looking at and that I was thinking about, I feel like this jaw is too flat here on the front. It's like even the mouth isn't that flat, so I'm just gonna kind of pull it out some, just make it a little bit round. Because that should help it to still maintain that squareness that I want, but I would be a little bit cooler. For those of you, <laughs> subscribe and like. Subconsciously, I think I think I think you're right there. How, how you doing, Sherman? It's good to see you. Yeah. Subconsciously still works though. Not a bad deal. Not a bad deal. Okay. So just to make sure that uh, everybody kind of gets up to to speed, those of you who are just joining. Okay, we got some some cool uh, ZBrush and smartest stuff going on. I've got, you know, a little fish bot sticker and a button <laughs> along with, you know, a ZBrush mouse pad, a ZBrush live sticker, got some other ZBrush stickers, you know, some, some cool stuff here. Um, a lanyard. Uh, it's just a giveaway. Just simple, straight up giveaway. Um, yeah, so uh, if you, in order to, to join the giveaway, I'll probably do this a couple of times throughout the uh, throughout the stream, but uh, in order to join the giveaway, go to my Instagram. If you look over at the um, that far side over there, smartest S M A A R T I S T. Um, all of my all of my social media is like that. So if you go to the, if you go to Instagram under smartest, Instagram.com slash smartest. <coughs> um, for the giveaway. <laughs> so yeah. Have fun, uh, and I'll be selecting the winner from random there at the end of the stream. So it should be fun. Should be some good, good fun. Classic Kung Fu Master Mustache, yes. Yes, 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 indeed. Okay, so the idea, in fact, maybe we'll just go through and we'll kind of block it out. Um, Curve tubes. I want to make sure that my curve tubes has the lock start. And we need this to be nice and small. In fact, let's come over here just for the sake of making sure that I have. Um, oh, I thought I had the spotlight already made. Let's import and character. Yeah, let's go ahead and move that over. Yeah, we're just gonna put them up here in the corner. You guys won't be able to see the whole of the concept, uh, but I will. And that's the important part. <laughs> okay, 
me see. Opacity. Let's opaque that up. Okay, and the other thing is I need intensity. Okay, that should be good. Okay, Z, we'll go to document. No, brush, sorry, samples. We'll turn off spotlight projection. Uh, just in case you couldn't see that. <laughs> and now I'm just going to go ahead. I want to save out this spotlight uh, just so that it's easier for me to. Easier to load for next time. Okay. So. Ah, nerds. Okay, let's go to the eyebrows. Here we go. That's way, way big. Push and pull this around just a little bit. So I want it to be curved, but I want it to be too curved. Nailed it! <laughs> Let's do this color fill object. Let's see, I need this to be a little bit thinner. Let's go ahead and do size. We'll do flip vertical so it goes the other direction. What size is it right now? All right, we'll call that good. Now let's make sure that we can get another couple. Although here's kind of something that I want to make sure of. Right now, oh shoot. Let's use our move topological. Okay, let's take this top one if we can grab it. <laughs> That's everybody's week. How was everybody's week? Yeah, this is driving me nuts. Use our regular move brush because the move topological just ain't gonna move, ain't gonna work for this. Okay, this is driving me absolutely bonkers. I think I've got too many spans in here, and I do. So. Let's just go back. I need to get rid of these. Trying to learn Z Modeler. And your videos have been super helpful. That's really good to know. <laughs> because I'm 
beyond trying to be a uh, super dad joke genius. Oh, you know what? Let's actually keep it right there. Take it back down to, what was it, four? Oh, but it needs to be bigger if I'm going to be this close. Um, besides being a, a super dad genius, um, dad joke extraordinaire, <laughs> um, and, and besides trying to come up with a project that I can be passionate about, you guys can have fun with, um, I really like trying to be helpful too. And I feel like if I can accomplish being helpful, then not three, come on. It's like my uh, my computer really likes, like especially my, my, my number keypad, um, it really likes to kind of not be on by default. <laughs> So it really kind of messes me up, drives me nuts. Um, okay, so we've got that. We want to go over to brush, modifiers, change this down to eight. Let's try this again. That's better. Okay, so you see now it's now it's this uh, this nice kind of. Uh, lower poly sort of sort of version of what we had before which is exactly what we want I don't want in fact let's, let's do this because this will be important to me I don't want it to go all the way down to nil I think that that's going to be a little bit too um, a little bit too aggressive you know, so having it taper all the way down to zero I think that that makes it too thin at the end and uh, we could, we saw it just a second ago it made it really hard to control that stuff so you know, not too bad did the stream crash oh I hope it didn't crash is everybody else getting a uh, getting a crash is it okay now goes I feel like my computer's like super lagging right now. Okay, I don't want that to be super bendy. I want it to be pretty straight. Okay, there we go. Let's do this too. Let's say split unmasked points. Okay. If this is going to be the eyebrows, and here's what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and say solo Let's say split hidden Bring it down here, let's come up to here, rename this hair Eyebrows facial hair let's kind of open up our visibility count so we can see more of our sub tools I can actually delete this okay let's make sure everything is named pants If you hold shift when you click on these down arrows, it'll let you, uh, hmm. <coughs> okay, so I'm, I'm seeing from, uh, from Ghost that he's getting problems. <laughs> Hola, Renzo. ¿Qué tal? <laughs> ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo te va? 
Um, is everybody else? It's good now. So, so is it? Was it just like a like a momentary lapse of terrible badness? Uh, but yeah, if I hold shift and hit one of these arrows, it'll take it either to the far top or to the far bottom. Uh, same thing, if I hold shift and I click on this uh, top arrow or this bottom arrow, it'll let me select between the top and bottom subtools. Okay. So right now we've got this, we got this, we got sandals. Okay, let's grab the arm wraps. Shift and bottom arrow right here. That takes it all the way down to the bottom of the list. When I want to put it right underneath the uh, shirt, let's take the sandals, hold shift, put it all the way down to the very bottom. And actually, let's take the eyes. See what I'm what I'm trying to do. I like to organize when I'm working on a scene, mostly characters. Um, when I'm working on characters, I like to make sure that let's turn them on so that he let's uh, make him so we can see him. Um, I like to be able to um, organize my subtool list in a way that's easier to be able to find my parts. Okay, so we've got you know, chart three. It's just the name of the the name of the file. So what I'm going to do is Control Shift D. I'm going to say torso, and then for this I can just come down here and I can say initialize. Ah. Q cube. Hide it. Okay. So now here's what I want, I want to do. Okay, so I've got this. I want to turn on my Gizmo 3D. Turn on my pizza boxes. Make sure I have everything visible, everything selected. Okay. And I'm going to say a new folder. Would you like to create a new folder containing these subtools? Yes. I'm going to say. Four AM and I can't believe you were watching. Oh man, way to go! Oh, good night. I hope you I hope you have sweet dreams. Dream a ZBrush. Make sure that you go onto Instagram and join the uh, the giveaway. Uh, remember, the giveaway is not through Pixel Logic; it's through my personal account. So go check that out um, in the stories, like I was showing earlier. That will. Make sure to, maybe I'll just keep it open because that would be useful, I think. Okay, it's already been seen by 32 people, uh, which means that, you know, just people who aren't watching the stream are also going to be joining in on this. So, you know, if you want, if you want to get in on it, you gotta, <laughs> you gotta just enter your name and your location. So if you're in Brazil, say Brazil my name is Raul I'm from Brazil you know or you could say you know I'm Steven I'm from Los Angeles but you know say your name and where you're at so yeah nice and groovy lots of cool lots of cool things ZBrush hat ZBrush uh, stickers and uh, uh, mouse pad and all the good stuff oh let's see actually let's Let's just say character. <coughs> That'll work just fine. Alright. Let's come over here to the facial hair group. It's a little bit too big for my liking, so we're just gonna no! <laughs> turn off the pizza boxes. Okay. That's looking better. Size-wise, that's not too bad. Does anybody have questions? Or jokes, or...
or uh, movie suggestions or okay I want to take this let's move it down some oh you know what <laughs> I forgot to do my polygroup magic Okay, so let's just do polygroup island. And with symmetry turned on, we'll get the same polygroups on the both sides. Turn on local symmetry. Scaling is kind of a tricky tool to play with if you're uh, working in symmetry. Because if you're working in symmetry and it feels like it doesn't really want to. <laughs> then you just might be a redneck. Just kidding. Sounds like they turned on the AC. I know it wasn't for me, but I'm still grateful. <laughs> okay, so that should be good. And to be able to get the front hairs, or for the, the chin, we're just gonna steal from the mustache, because that's what we do. When we are building a beard, we steal from the mustache. And just reset that. Eventually, I'm, going to, I'm just going to go in here and just break that symmetry because I really don't want something right here in the middle of the face to be symmetrical. You just look stupid. <laughs> okay. I haven't seen us. Um, have you seen it in Quintonius? Spider Verse is amazing. I went ahead and uh, instead of, I mean, I didn't get to go and see it in theaters, though it could have been cool. Um, I'm not really a big, like, going to see things in the theater sort of, sort of person. Like, I mean, I worked on How to Train Your Dragon 3, and I still haven't seen that. <laughs> um, but uh, I went ahead and I bought Spider Verse for the sake of seeing it. Uh, and I felt like it was a worthy investment because it's Spider-Man. I love Spider-Man. <laughs> so yeah, I was not disappointed at all. feel a bit off balanced. Oh, I haven't seen any of the extras. It's been so long since I've seen extras, dude. <laughs> So, 
was so long. But it's okay. That's okay. <laughs> that was so the movie Us. That was the one with Lupita Nyong'o, right? Um, the one where uh, like something about like inner demons or something like that that kind of come out to to haunt people. Something like that, right? train your dragon I'll probably actually wait until it comes out to be able to actually watch it <laughs> it's just I don't know it's just not something that matters a whole lot to me right now which is funny because originally I really 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 wanted to uh, <coughs> to go out and and uh, watch it in the theater Just a second. was on the way out but her phone is out of battery so I was going to trade her mine just in case she needed it um, but she said she'll be all right <laughs> so <laughs> hopefully <laughs> see what sorts of things are you guys working on I'm gonna add like another four hairs in there or something like that let's get our mask lasso What's your uh, favorite thing about that, Quintonius? What about that? Uh, about that movie about um, us, directed by Jordan Peele. Movie with deeper meaning. have something more to say than just hey I'm a movie <laughs> it's kind of nice oh 
where did I put it? So the other day I was cooking a hot dog over the fire on the stove and uh, I was really not thinking that night. I was super tired. It was after midnight. I mean, <laughs> super stupid. Anyway, so uh, after midnight, cooking a hot dog over the stove and uh, take it uh, I take it off of the fire put it in the bun and I peel the fork out I like I pull the fork out and <laughs> me and my infinite wisdom at you know midnight o'clock um, I decided oh there's a little bit of bread stuck to the fork <laughs> and so I stuck the fork in my mouth to lick the fork off and instantly I could hear the sound of my mouth being seared and uh, oh my gosh I was so so terrible <laughs> so terrible my wife and I were both instantly just like grossed out <laughs> Um, and it's funny because I mean I knew I knew instantly that it was going to hurt a lot but that it wasn't going to hurt right away it took a good half hour for that pain to set in uh, which was interesting to go through and and uh, and monitor and and, and see um, <clears throat> but yeah it's been really amazing to to see my mouth heal um, currently, the uh, the bottom lip healed very nicely. Okay, I, I have no evidence of the burn, whatever, on my bottom lip anymore. But my upper lips, <laughs> my upper lips, a mess, <laughs> and it has been a nightmare. It has been so painful. In fact, I meant to take ibuprofen before. Uh, before the stream, but totally spaced it. Let's sew this out just so we can get. Yeah, it's a good thing I don't get paid for uh, the handling of hot forks you know what I'm not sure that I'm liking the way that that looks here's what I'm gonna try okay let's let's try something let's turn off facial hair and I'm going to use the eyebrows <laughs> if it makes you feel better <laughs> A friend of mine wasn't paying attention when she was feeding her cat, and after she fed the cat, she put the utensil in her own mouth, not thinking. So you could be the person that doesn't pay attention and ate cat food. <sighs> but at least the taste doesn't stay with you for several days, <laughs> I don't think. <laughs> right? <laughs> um... Yeah. <laughs> but you're right. I I would definitely not enjoy eating cat food. So I love using the transpose line 
the transpose line has a ton of options for being able to manipulate oh shoot uh, for being able to manipulate your mesh um, it's a legacy tool it's been there for generations um, <coughs> and it's just one of those tools that I just can't say enough good things about it really really is such an amazing useful tool um, it's definitely one to play around with if you haven't yet okay. and it is a little bit intimidating um, let's see if we can get Okay, we got perspective turned off. Let's turn this on. We'll turn that up and we'll turn it then that and Interesting start. It's funny because like I super love the way that the uh, that the wiry mustache and beard look on the sketch that I did. Um, I'm just not entirely sure how I would want to pull that off. How I would go about that. So maybe it's something that we'll come back to later. We'll have to see. Okay, here's what I want to do. Control shift that. Uh, actually, let's do it like this, and then we'll say split hidden, and then we'll say facial hair too. Yeah, so he'll be he'll be much more cheeky, if you will, um, as soon as I go uh, and uh, do his expression. Um, yeah, for right now. He's going to remain fairly, you know, as he is at the moment. Ah, this drives me mad. There we go. And sometimes it's just like it doesn't want to click on the points that I want it to click on, dang it. Just click on the points. Alright. <coughs> okay, let's pull out my hairbrush. Looks like I don't have it loaded. I need to do that. Let's go back, ZBrush. Um, I actually don't think I've loaded it into my must haves folder yet. So, Curve Basic, uh, Smartest Hair, SMA Hair, Smartest Hairbrush. There we go. 
Uh, and if you want this brush, uh, this is a great brush. It's available on my Gumroad um, for just a dollar. Ninety-nine, ninety-nine, I've used it for a large, large number of projects, uh, both professionally and domestically, <laughs> for my own personal project. Um, yeah. Yeah, you might be right, Ian. You might be right. I think that that's, it might be something that I just need to go through and play with. Okay, let's, there we go. It's getting a little bit too thick toward the end, so I'm just gonna pull that over. And that's too thick toward the top. It's just a little bit of playing. Figuring out your curve and figure, yeah, that's better. Okay, so instead of using the single strand, let's use the triple strand because that'll give me three strands and that'll be great. Move topological to kind of spread out the different middle strands. And they're different colors. Sick color fill object. Yeah, because I think that that's too thick now. It's like it's, uh... Yep, smartest hairbrush. So, uh, it's available on my Gumroad. Uh, if you look it up, uh... Let's pull it up. Gumroad.com products. <laughs> yeah, so I got all sorts of things on here. You know, I've got an IMM uh, rope brush, which I made um, because I needed a rope brush for work. Um, I made a peanut brush that I made for the stream, actually. Um, let's see, all sorts of stuff. Uh, let's go back, let's see. The one that I was talking about is this hairbrush. Okay. And, uh, yeah. It's really pretty simple. It has multi multi curve capabilities. Um, if there's anything wrong with it, let me know. We'll, uh, I'll help you work through it because it's, uh, it's a cool brush. It's a great way to be able to um, to be able to use, uh, create hair inside of ZBrush. Um, and again, for those of you who are joining more recently on the stream, um, I am doing a giveaway including ZBrush hat. I need to shut down this other browser because I can't see. Um, ZBrush hat, some other gear including my own sticker with my FishBot 2.0 um, and a ZBrush lanyard. So uh, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun to be able to join the giveaway. Just go over to go over to my Instagram and uh, on my stories right there. 
right there. There's a little box right there. You go ahead and put in your name, where you come from, and uh, we'll have fun with it. <laughs> right now, just so, just so you're aware, 57. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. We've got 14 people so far. So, pretty fun, pretty cool, and uh, it's free for you. So, it'll be fun. Uh, yes, the hairbrush is watertight. It's something that you could use to be able to, to do 3D printable meshes. Um, you'll still want to go through and check and make sure that uh, <coughs> that delicate ends are not, you know, like if I were to go through and print these eyebrows, they would be really fragile, okay? <laughs> They'd look cool and it would work, but it would be, uh, it'd be really fragile. It'd be really, really easy to break. Okay, facial hair two, facial hair one, uh, let's see. Yeah, maybe it's just a matter of finding something kind of intermediate, <laughs> something in the middle. <laughs> okay, we we worked on on that stuff enough for right now. Let's ooh, a combination of the two. No. Okay, we worked on that enough. Let's jump down, work on the costume a little bit more. Um, let's say these arm wraps. Now I do have arm wraps that I've already started making on another character. I'll show you real quick if I can remember where I put her. Put her in here. Portfolio pieces, Corey Loftus, Mermigator. She's a Mermigator. Okay. So here's some uh well, so this is a character that I uh, that I had started working on maybe a year ago. Um, let me see. There you go, Rethon. So I went ahead and submitted that uh, to the to the chat. <coughs> All right, so uh, this is one that I started a year ago, and I still haven't. I just, I just kind of haven't finished her. She's got a long way before she's finished. Uh, but one of the things that I did with her is I made these little arm wraps. Okay, and these arm wraps are kind of cool. Let me see, actually, let's see if we can, yep, arm wraps right there. So if I wanted to, I could come over here, just for the sake of having them as reference. Of course, part of being a pirate, being able to steal from something you've already made. Just for the sake of, let's get that scaled up. Let's get it rotated into place, pull it over. The hard thing with this, like the reason why it won't work for me to just go ahead and just reuse um, these particular pieces is that they're made for a very, very specific character. Um, so everything just won't fit. However, by putting it in roughly the right position, if I can figure out which position is roughly the right position. <laughs> I can use it as a template or as a guide or as a as a, as reference for what I want to do for this guy's hands. Um, so yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, 
Okay, so you can see with the, with these pieces, they're very faked. Okay, it, they're not real wraps, and it's not one continuous strand going all the way down his arm or down the down the character's arm. Um, <coughs> it's kind of just you know made to 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 fake it. So, in order to do that here, what we want to do, we're going to select. Yeah, okay, we got the right one. Okay, so you see I've got all these, all this topology nicely lined out. This is what we want, okay. We really, really want to make sure that we have these topology lines going uh, in the right direction. And it'll help us to make the, uh, to make the strands the way that we want it. Okay, so here we go. Let's say... Uh, first, let's straighten some things out just so that it's, you know, we have some good thicknesses. Okay, um, the bands get, you know, less con like it's not consistent down here. So we're just gonna go ahead and do that. Okay, make sure it's the same on both sides. Looks like we're good. One of the things I love about Z Modeler is that you have a tool for everything. You know, there there is absolutely everything you possibly need. By default, your point setting is going to be set to move. So you get to really use that. Oh, you know what? We still need to make the teeth. I need to make I need to make a list, guys. I need to make a list. question-based research here we go okay so <coughs> teeth what else uh, arm wraps it's not letting you type in the Instagram stories Is anybody else able to? It seems like it seems like I've, I mean I've gotten a lot of people kind of responding to it, um, and I do see you on there. Try it now, Rethon. I went ahead and followed you. I went ahead and followed you back, so that way you've. Uh, Hopefully, <laughs> have less reasons to not be able to enter. Okay, so teeth and arm wraps. Um, <coughs> that's true. I need to go through and figure out kind of a candy incorporation. Because he needs to be able to fit into that world. Thanks for bringing that up, Ian. Um, let's set that right there. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to say... Oh. Say polygroup, polyloop. Every time I put it down to be able to make a new loop, I hit uh, I hit Alt, so I click, and while I'm holding down click, I hit Alt, and now I've got all these different polygroups. Okay, here's what I'm going to do: geometry crease. I'm going to say crease PG. Okay, I'm going to say always yes. It's fine. Okay, so now you can see. I mean, we we definitely have those ridges where those polygroups are. I'm not fascinated, I'm not interested in those uh, polygroups. I mean, I could go ahead and I could get rid of those polygroups now. Because um, what I need is that crease going along those edges. I could technically go through and with those edge settings, I could have just done, you know, crease, 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 crease. Um, that would have been easier. 
<laughs> but yeah. How you doing, Lynn? How you doing? Okay, so underneath this crease, we have this bevel option. I'm just gonna go ahead. Yeah, you know what? Shift D, yep, we're good. Okay, so if I control shift click on this orange right here, and then we go say modify topology, delete hidden. You see now we've got all of our separate straps. Um, just for the sake of knowing, is there a detach? No, there isn't a detach. Unweld. Okay, guys. I need to know about this. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go unweld, edge loop partial. Let me see. Increase all. Whoa, look at that! <laughs> oh, that's so cool! So wait, is that adding like... So I'm going through, I'm saying unweld, and I'm saying increase all. Oh my gosh, that is so freaking cool! Now, that's not the look that I'm looking for, but it's still freaking cool. <laughs> oh, see, I love playing around with uh, with Z Modeler. It is so, so helpful. Um, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to hide the other arm wraps. We're just going to worry about playing with these for now. Um, and look at that. It unwelds it. That is so fascinating. Okay, okay, okay. Now it's not the uh, it's not the best way. In fact, let's let's just do this because I'd rather just go ahead and just come back in. Oh, say Control W just to make sure it's all one poly group. And then take my bevel. And you see, it's like you can see it as you slide it further to the right, you get more of a bevel. Uh, as you keep it further, like closer down to zero, it makes it so that it keeps more of the shape of the polygons that it's beveling around. Okay, I'm just going to keep it the way that it was because um, it's easier. <laughs> and uh, now let's go ahead and we'll say. We just hit crease PG. It's just going to crease our borders since I only have one poly group. Oh yeah, it doesn't work on the computer. It's kind of a kind of a bummer. So yeah, if you want to enter the giveaway on my Instagram, uh, you need to do it through the Instagram app on your phone or tablet or mobile device of whatever kind. Uh, it doesn't. It for some reason uh, it doesn't work on uh, on a computer. Okay, so <clears throat> here's what I want to do. I have this cool crisscross pattern going on the top and on the bottom. It is open to international. Uh, so for instance, Rethon, uh, you're in the UK, correct? Uh, that'll totally work. Um, yeah. International is just fine. It will take uh, longer to get to places internationally, um, but definitely, definitely open to international uh, participants. Um, I think it's a, a fun opportunity because I mean, it's you know some of these things like you know the ZBrush. Uh, the ZBrush gear and whatnot. Uh, a lot of it's stuff that you can really only get at the summit or that you can uh, order through their website or whatnot. Um, but yeah, so so hopefully, hopefully that's a fun opportunity for for people. Okay, so here's what I want to do. I'm going to just kind of. Take these. 
I want to do it on the top side as well. I think with these ones. Do 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 do. -do. All right. We're just gonna Control Shift Tab that. Let's delete hidden. And where's the crease? Crease PG. Okay. So here's what we want to do. Now that I have this going the way that I want it, okay, I want to go through and I want to start bridging these sides together, but I don't want it to go straight across like it was. I want it to go down one. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to say, oop, go to edge functions, bridge edges. So we're just going to take this one, bridge it to here, this one, bridge it to here. Ooh. Interesting. Yeah, let's... I'm interested now to think about how I'm going to work this out. Okay, so... You know what? Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> Here's what we're going to do. <laughs> I keep saying that and it's like my brain just like... <clears throat> um, let's see. Let's say multiple edge loops because that'll give me a good edge loop right in the middle. Right say uncrease all crease PG <sighs> I'm thinking about this like way too hard the thing that I'm trying to go through and figure out you know what? I'm just going to keep it simple. Let's just let's just keep it simple. Bridge edge Let's take it, let's take our display and we'll turn off double. I only want to see the one side. I feel like it might make it easier. Sometimes when you're bridging, uh, it does make it a little bit easier to see what you're doing, uh, in the very least. <laughs> that and I feel like you also have a little bit easier of a time um, selecting what you, what you really, really want to select. You know what, let's do this. Okay, so. Ooh. Yeah, you know what? Let's just keep this side where it is. 
what we're gonna do in order to get the weave oh gosh I'm like I'm like strugg struggling to think okay so essentially what we're gonna do is it's, this is now one continuous strand going all the way around okay so if we do this we're gonna get one continuous everything um, Let's go ahead, uncrease all, crease PG. Okay, let's say uh, deformation, polish by groups. That's a little bit much, don't you think? Okay, that's a little bit better. All right. <coughs> Second side wasn't one out like the other. You're right. You're right. Um, and I did that kind of on purpose. Um, what I want to try to do, I'm going to go Control Shift D, just so I can have that there. Uh, I'm just going to up arrow. And let's go back to when we were young. Uh, you know what? Okay, so we have that going down like that. Delete, 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 delete. Okay. So instead of going down here, we want this to go up. the same thing over here we're gonna say bridge to edges and we're just gonna make this one so that it's you know one to one rather than um, one and one below I'm hoping this is gonna be like a major experiment this is different than how I did the other ones um, The way I did the other ones is very similar to how I do my robots, um, in that I was using um, panel loops and panel groups and things like that. Um, let's say polygroup. Okay, let's come up here. Let's say uncrease all. Let's say crease PG. And then let's open up our deformation. Polish by groups. Okay. So, the idea behind this is going, you know, since since I went through and I have one curling clockwise, the other one's curling counterclockwise, this should give me the opportunity to, um, to create that weave create that weave that we see you know how it's like overlapping right there so here we go okay so we're gonna say merge down oh come on you merge down okay this is where it's gonna be a lot of fun <laughs> Now we're now we're separate poly groups. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna say mask edge loop partial, and that'll mask that bottom one. On the top here, I want to make sure that. that this uh, this top piece is kind of coming out. This will help to give it some depth and dimension. But then it needs to start going in over here on this side. OK, 
Okay, like I said, guys, it's an experiment. It's an experiment. It's an experiment. <laughs> Same thing, I want the top. Oof. Oh, you guys, this is somewhat cool. <laughs> this is so hard. Okay. This is so hard. My brain is like breaking right now. <laughs> It's not making the exact same weave. I'd have to go through and kind of study it out more, I think, if I wanted to make that weave exactly. But these are th these other things are working. and pulling until it feels about right. the idea of this kind of like terminating in kind of a well so thickness will definitely make it look better um, but I like to keep it uh, keep it single-sided for right now because what it'll do is it'll allow me to better control um, better control the the watchman gets And so once I can get the, um, once I can get the, <coughs> once I can get the, the wrap kind of going the way that I need it to, that's when it'll become very useful to me to have Um, thickness. That's when I'll be able to make thickness and have it feel very... Um, <laughs> I'm at a loss for words today, guys. Um, effective. Convincing. Oh, come here. I 
like it's terminating. I'll be back. Okay. So on the front, that's working. And it might just be a matter of um, coming in and adding a couple of extra straps just over the top of this. I might end up doing that. We'll have to see. Um, we'll definitely see. Okay, let's see here. trying to keep everything out from behind the chat and stuff just because <laughs> kind of hard to see if uh, something's blocking carne de burro no es transparente donkey meat's not transparent <laughs> So right here, let's make sure that the green is the one that's kind of dominant on this side. Um, but the reason being is that it feels like this stuff right here, uh, it just feels like it's kind of looping around and it doesn't feel very appealing to me. So I'm just going to kind of pull this out. You know what? I feel like this is just taking too much time and it's not quite the result that I want anyway. So here's what we're gonna do. Instead of doing it like this, Control Shift D, duplicate. Okay, I'm gonna go geometry, say close holes. Say Dynamesh, and let's see what it looks like with just a 128. I haven't saved anything. I need to save. <laughs> it is a lot of sub tools. <laughs> Don't make fun of me. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go through. Place it, yes. Okay, let's get. Yeah, that got super, super, super dense. Look at that. Wow. Okay, so we got this. I'm going to turn off Dynamesh now. And the thing is, I just want to make sure that this is. Kind of smoothed out some. Okay. Just kind of make sure that it fits the general area. I mean, I could go through and I could make a new one entirely using the arm. Um, it's not a bad idea. But... We're just going to do this. It's um, let me see, I need to get rid of half of it. Let's get my clip curve. Okay, so now we've got this. OK. 
Okay. I'm gonna go ahead and let's dynamesh it again, but I wanna take the resolution like way, way down. We don't need it to be very high. Okay, just gonna have it smooth out some. All right, cool. So now that we have this, this is where I start to work the magic. <laughs> this is where I'm gonna go through, I'm gonna use slice curve and make sure it's all one poly group. And I'm just gonna go through and make slices. The reason I decided to start over <coughs> is because this should give me the ability to say, um, you know, to essentially duplicate rings and uh, and use them in creating um, overlapping loops the way that I want, even if it is just faking it. <laughs> but uh. So we're just going to go ahead, we're going to take these, we're going to say modify topology, delete hidden, we're going to say Z remesher, we're going to say keep groups, and uh, let's say target down to, uh, let's say 0.5. We don't need it to have a whole lot, so a whole lot of polygons. So I'm going to hold alt, hit Z remesher, let it do its thing, and look at that. Beautiful. It's almost like we planned it like that. <laughs> Cartoon bone, get a chunk of meat. Yes. Uh, let's let's uh, let's save. Let's save. It's a it's a good idea. Okay. <coughs> I want to hit the R to be able to. Yeah. Let's 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 keep the. Uh, And group here. I'm trying to decide, should I? Let's 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 get rid of. Oops, come on. The Z modeler. Let's go ahead, and we're going to get rid of these uh, intermediate loops in here. They're not needed right now, and it'll just make it so that there's more for me to try to control. Okay, I could go around and I could get rid of these as well. It's really like a lot easier for me. Let's make this lighter so it's easier to see. It's kind of dark and my eyes were straining. Perfect. I didn't count how many loops there were going around. Did you guys count? <laughs> Some. And now we can go ahead, we can say crease PG, do that. already creased. I forgot that step because otherwise it's just too much of a pain. <laughs> All right so now that we have this we can control shift D and I'm just going to use my transpose line Rotate one kind of, you know, so that it's kind of shifting the other direction. And the other one so that it's going slanted against it. Um, this will allow us to get more of that crisscross pattern like we were going for before. But it should be a lot easier to, to get now. Let's just say polygroups, auto groups. 
groups. Okay. I was going to say. Let's just use move topological. This should be fine. So with move topological, what's nice is that it'll only work on the piece that you last touched. Okay, so it's helpful to me. Nope, sorry. I'm trying to figure out what it is that you mean. <laughs> So this is going to come up, this is going to come up, this one's going to go in. This is going to come out. Okay. Same thing down here. Oh. In fact, here's what we're gonna do. Let's just turn off the character's torso. And let's turn off whatever is extra because it's kind of distracting if I have. Too many pieces. All right. So we got that. Let's go ahead and bring this down. down. I'm kind of sick of uh, playing this subtool, that subtool. <laughs> so we're just going to sad. I've, I've got to ship my 3D printer back to Form Labs. I'm going to take out every other poly group, make a duplicate, and then flip it. Um, the, the tricky thing, the thing that I was going through and trying to figure out uh, is I just wanted it to, it's like if I flip it, then I have to worry about it fitting the arm, which might just be me being a ball baby. <laughs> I don't know. Um, what 
I could just do it, go through and try to retrofit this, uh, let me see, just for the sake of saving time, because, quite honestly, I like saving time. It was fun today uh, on ArtStation. I got a got a message from somebody who um, copied my my fish bot, <laughs> and yeah, I I think he was just looking to. I, I think he understood that my image was an illustration, which it is, but it's a 3D illustration. Um, and so he'd, uh, he went through and he, you know, modeled it and he textured it and he lit and rendered and did a turntable and everything for his portfolio and, and it's like, that's, that's cool. <laughs> it's, uh, kind of flattering. It was really strange uh, seeing seeing. Well, that's the second time actually that I've seen the fish bot get copied. Um, yeah, it's totally fine because you know if people like what I do and they want to imitate it to be able to learn what I do. Um, cool it's just kind of odd you know what I mean How you doing? Uh, no, this is ZBrush. Um, this is on the uh, Pixelogic channel. Um, they are the makers of ZBrush. Um, and uh, I'm one of the uh, one of the participating streamers for their channel. It's a lot of fun. I get to I get to come on and and. Uh, enjoy my Wednesday nights with you fine folks. Imitation, the highest form of flattery. Uh. <laughs> Not gonna lie though, it also makes me feel kind of uh, uncomfortable. <laughs>
copying the masters. <laughs> All right. Have a good night, Rethon. Back to the right color. That'll work for me for now. I don't know. I might go through and see about making the real ones at some other point. But for right now, we need to make teeth. Pull this guy over here. Control Shift D. Let's go ahead and rename it already. Um, yeah, yeah, let's actually name it Mouth Parts. That's what I would usually call things when I was working at Warner Brothers. Mouth parts. So what it will include is things like the teeth, the gums, and the tongue. Hey, ums. 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 U-M-S. <laughs> ums. How many teeth am I giving it? So it'll be kind of, uh, it'll be really simplified. I really, really want it to have a nice kind of uh, cartoony read, um, especially when he's going through into like that big, you know, cheeky grin. Um, so he's going to have like two big front teeth and then a couple of chunks going back from that. And then the bottom will just be kind of like a, like a horseshoe shape. So we're gonna take this mouth part. So let's go ahead and say initialize. Q cube, let's take it down to one, one, one. Let's say transparent just to see where we're at. There it is. Okay, let's turn off. Is it being such a pain right now? It's not a super heavy scene. I mean, you look at the total points I have, 58,000 points, 59,000 points. There we go, he's a ghost. Ooh, I take that. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and center that. Make it bigger. I'm gonna go out of the face a little bit for right now, which is okay. I'm gonna say delete single poly. So now that we have this, uh, no, it's not a model for a game. This is just a personal project model. Um, it does have topology. It does have uh, it will have UVs. Oh, come on. But, uh, no, it's not intended as a character for a game. It's simply uh, for an illustration that I'm working on, uh, just really as part of these streams that I, that I do. Um, it's a lot of fun. I really super enjoy 
being able to uh, being able to stream here. Let's go ahead, let's come over here, let's turn on double-sided. If I, if I don't talk quite as much as I usually do, I might, um, I might actually talk a little bit less now. Uh, I burned my mouth the other night really, really badly, second degree burns. <laughs> it's really stupid. Um, but, um, it should be yeah ghost of christmas future has been going through and he's been trying to uh persuade me to <laughs> uh get in the talks with hasbro about making a Candyland, um making a new Candyland scene with this you know making this a real thing you know i don't know it's, it's been fun it's been fun Yeah, let's go over here and say geometry. Oh, let's just for the sake of making sure that there is a gap. Okay. All I'm trying to do right now All I'm trying to do right now is make sure that um, I get all my shapes in here and I have all my pieces. some weird artifacting in there but like coming over here and look at this sum So, the way that I burned my mouth the other day. <laughs> Shoot. Um, was that I was, um, I was essentially I was uh, working with hot dogs. I was uh, roasting hot dogs over the stove late the other night. And uh, and I pulled the hot dog out of out of the, off of the fire and um, and I was getting ready to well yeah I put it on the bun you know like you do with a hot dog right and the funniest thing happened <laughs> bread came off uh, of the bun onto the fork and me, you know, not wanting to be wasteful and being interested in the bread, decided, hey, bread, I'm gonna lick that off. I went ahead and tried to lick it off and, uh, 
this fork that had been in flame for several minutes had uh, you know I could I could hear as soon as I put it in my mouth it seared my mouth and uh, oh my goodness it was yeah my wife and I were disgusted I mean, it was so so terrible so so terrible. So now that I have these, I can kind of raise up these middle points. I'm not going to worry about too many teeth because he is so stylized. But the other thing I want to do is go ahead and crease so that when I hit crease, he's got this nice little. Dog hunt, dog hunt, diggity dog. Indeed. Uh, let's take my crease level down to two. Swing so subdivisions up to three. Yeah, it was a terrible experience and it didn't hurt at first. But I knew it was going to, I knew exactly what was going on. I knew it was going to be a second degree burn. I knew it was going to, uh, and it hurts like the Hades right now. It's so bad. It's like I've been taking so much Advil trying to Trying to not die with how painful it's been. <laughs> that being said, I am craving a hot dog. Come down here, let's give it a little bit of an inflate. Oops. Huh. It polishes way more easily than I had expected it to. Oh well, I think that'll that'll probably be all right. Let's let's go ahead and we'll check it out. Actually, let's let's use our move transpose line. If you think that there is a sticky note on your screen, it's because there's a sticky note on my <laughs> on my camera. <laughs> Do you want me to take 
teeth a little offset because that would be awesome. Make them so that they're asymmetrical. Good. Somebody's in a hurry it sounded like. Taking that corner like nobody's business. Where'd you end up going? I went to TJ. Nice. Okay, so teeth are never just white. Maybe. center, flip it around, delete island, So we're just gonna we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> mm, I was watching this uh, interview earlier. Oh, sorry. Can you hear that? <laughs> I was watching this interview earlier with Trevor Noah. Uh, I think it was from like, either last night or the day before or something like that. He was talking to Oprah and uh, <laughs> it, 
was it was funny because he asked Oprah. Uh, she she's doing this collaboration with Prince Harry. Um, in you know dealing with the the school that she opened up in South Africa, mm-hmm. and uh, yeah, so he asked her what she thought the experience was for him meeting royalty or <laughs> working with royalty. <laughs> I totally butchered it, but it was funny. Yeah, he has a body mouth, but he's he's good. He's good. It's interesting because he like he gives you things to think about, and definitely gives like a certain side of what those opinions are. But uh, I like that it gives me an opportunity to see a side of an argument or you know, of a political whatever, and then to be able to um, be able to kind of make choices or decisions based on that. Quintonius is saying that uh, he keeps hearing the sounds on our end and thinking that it's on his end because he has his headphones in. <laughs> Got some things like the like the uh, train, the cars, and the, all that jazz. Uh, right now, as far as I can tell, forty-six. That would be. What was your favorite part of today? Well, I thought my favorite part of the day was finding a free people dress at TJ Maxx. Normally $108 that I've seen everywhere. Found it on the rack for $44. But then I tried on when I got home and it didn't fit. Oh no. It's too good. <clears throat> Scarlet and all the little kids running on the fun run. <laughs> Unfortunately, I did not keep track of how many 
it was a lot. How about you? <laughs> what was your favorite part of today? Oh wait, are we still talking to me? No, 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 no. Oh. <laughs> no. Well, if you want it to say yeah. another favorite part of today. <laughs> What are you talking about? It's your room. <laughs> you and your wife meet. Aww. <laughs> so we were both volunteering and uh, as uh, like we were posing as, <laughs> it's all right Quintonius, I misspell my name sometimes too. Um, you got to give a background because they don't know. Okay, so so we're members of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, um, and we both served missions. Um, I myself, <laughs> I myself uh, served a mission down in South America in Chile, and my wife served in uh, Geneva, Switzerland and Luxembourg, um, the whole country. <laughs> um, and, um, you know, she's, she's, uh, she's Latina. She's, uh, her parents are from Nicaragua. And so, um, you know, she grew up speaking Spanish. She also speaks French and, oh, it's really nice when she speaks French. Um, Anyway, so, so we, we were both going individually uh, to... Volunteer to have people practice their, their language, language skills. skills with us. Yeah, their language skills, their teaching, things like that. Um, and uh, when I got there one day to be able to, to, be able to volunteer, um, they said they had too many people, so they just kind of shoved me in a, in a room with another couple of other volunteers. And uh, one of those volunteers was Wonder Woman. I got bashful and started talking to the other girl. <laughs> 
so she thought I was like into this other girl and but I mean how could you be interested in another girl when there's Wonder Woman right there right yeah anyway so that's how we met and then uh, you know eventually after after that hour uh, we both stuck around but everybody else left um, and we, we each got transferred to our own to our own um, our own spots our own volunteer rooms oh, now you're just mixing up your day. wasn't that wasn't that that same <laughs> no day that wasn't the same day I thought that was that first day well it's been eight years now I guess you <laughs> But no. It's been, it's been almost nine, nine years. <laughs> no, the That's first, how I met your mother. <laughs> the very first time we met, you lingered around. I was waiting for Holly. That's why I was still in the room. And then you came back and you asked me what my name was. No, you didn't even ask me what my name was. You asked me how old I was. And then you left. No, but didn't I remember your name because the second time that I... That was the second time. You remembered my name and then I turned around and I was like, But oh. at least I at least had gotten her name. And I was like, <laughs> oh, it's that guy from that other time. But after that first day, I was like, like I, I, I couldn't work it up to ask her out. I was so like, <laughs> so kicking myself for... Well, I thought I thought I'd be kicking myself to to the day I died. <laughs> well, typically you don't just walk into a room, ask someone how old they are, and then disappear. Yeah, I'm <laughs> I'm awkward. Um, <laughs> hi. <laughs> yeah. See, you've forgotten already. Oh, See, uh, and now forty nine other people know that you forgot. Forty five. Forty five. So, so four less than before. So, <laughs> no, the details are, are fuzzy, but they're, they, uh, it's important that I remember her name now. That's, that's, that's a good thing. Um, I know her phone number. I'm not going to give it to you, but I, I do remember her phone number. I, rem I remember her birthday. I remember our anniversary. I've got the important things down. <laughs> names of our kids and their birthdays it's a little fuzzy but you know it's the same for everybody right it's a good thing we only have two then <laughs> <laughs> but yeah I mean, that was just kind of a fun good good day Because like I, 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 I swear I thought I was never going to see her again. I was like, <laughs> like Steven, you're stupid. <laughs> I was like, what's wrong with you? <laughs> um, but I was fortunate enough the next week that I was able to uh, run into her again. And I had no idea that was going to happen. And I felt awesome. <laughs> And then, let me ask just to make sure because, like I said, details are fuzzy. <laughs> uh, that's when I asked you out, right? Second time? Yeah, so the second time. We I was dressed up a little fancier the second time. <laughs> the second time was when you asked me out. And you came into the, the teaching room to do that in between when the which I don't think they ended up coming back anyway. <laughs> yeah, the missionaries are supposed to come back and, and, you know, they're supposed to teach, they're supposed to discuss what, what, uh... Well, they were supposed to fix all the, they were supposed to reteach or whatever, I don't know. Something like that, yeah, they're supposed to, like, reteach or follow up, learn how to follow up on commitments or... Something like that. The point is, is that we did it, and then you asked me out, and then I said no a few times. <laughs> legitimately, because I have, well, I have legitimate things. <laughs> this is going to yeah, be she was, she was, she, she didn't want to go out with me. <laughs> no, she, she had things that she uh, needed to do, and so she wasn't really able to. 
Uh, one of them was going back home. Yeah, one of them was going, coming back home to L.A. and visit with family. And it happens sometimes, right? You know, college students. <laughs> We didn't actually go out until after. Yeah, no, we we didn't go out until after you came back from. El no, I guess no, because we had the. I moved you into your new apartment before then, right? Oh yeah. Well. August no, so because because our first date was in August. Right. It was August thirteenth. Um. Have you already gone? We haven't Had, gone out yet. No. Well, no, I don't Was think LA so. before that or after that? I See, details know. are fuzzy for both of us. This is exciting. Yeah, we do. <laughs> <laughs> well, all I remember was that I had a job interview and I came back early. No, we went out. So I had my job interview. We went out. You helped me move. And then... I helped her move. That's a great way to get in, guys. You helped me move, and then... I, yeah, and then I went to L.A., and then they gave me the call back that I had my second interview, so I came home early. There we go. Trip. And then... And then I met you up at the... at the lab or something like that. Oh, because we were going to go and get your books and stuff, right? Mm. I think so. I think I that was it. I don't remember anywhere. I guess I forget too. I need to speak more authoritatively and maybe she'd be like, yeah, that was right. <laughs> well, I don't know. I, I don't remember now because there's like that whole time I was gone, we were communicating. Well, yeah, I guess we had gone on a date already. Yeah, I think I think that's right. But then we met in July, and then you didn't, we didn't go out until August, so... Oh, that's right, because then I looked you up on Facebook to try to remember what you looked like for one. <laughs> and then to make sure you weren't... A creeper. A serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> or one of those. Because <laughs> I had never before then said yes to a date. Just, you know some stranger I didn't know. Yeah, she's at a least, smart cookie. At least, you know, somewhat. Knowing them beforehand. Okay, that's looking kind of interesting, all right. Oh, we gained one more. <laughs> <laughs> the old French pirate is coming, sweet. Right. French pirate? Are you are you talking about the guy I'm working on right now, or are you talking about the the guy that I that I have posted on uh, on Instagram? Um, he's British. <laughs> It's not going to work for me. I need to pull this in. You got it, Quintonius. You got it. Find a girl you like, ask her her age. No, don't. No, see, it's the, it's the, that's the thing. Every woman says, no, it's improper, to, but it works. <laughs> I wouldn't Perfect like, formula. I, I wouldn't exactly say it. I thought you were strange. 
It's funny because I thought she was younger and she thought I was older. <laughs> um, I made a joke about the face and nose of the guy in the reference last stream. Nose and face of the guy from last stream. Yeah, you, like the one that I that I started uh, started off with. Then is that is that what you're talking about? It's kind of fun. <laughs> Experience the famous last words. <laughs> So far, I'm not a huge fan of how that's looking. Let's kind of make it shorter or something like that. It's all better now. All right. I think this is just getting too puffy. I think that that's part of what was causing the problems for me. In Germany, we never ask girls about how old she is. It's very bad, like suicide bad. <laughs> ask them how young the lady actually is. It's charming and she gets time to rethink her battle cry into the, uh, into the oh how nice, let me see, I'm like, <laughs> I don't know why girls are so touchy about their age. I don't think most guys care. <laughs> it's funny, some guys actually do really care. Um, it, I don't know, it, it's kind of a funny subject. And I think that that's probably <laughs> the best word for it. <laughs> it's just funny. I think my wife is thinking a better word might be tacky. <laughs> yeah, I think it's probably just, I mean, you could have come up with anything else to ask me. <laughs> it was memorable. <laughs> yep. In the very least, it was memorable. <laughs> See, this is what's so funny about real life stories. See, if you put this in a novel or something, they'd probably tell you to take it out because... But in real life, <laughs> awkward things happen in real life. Yep. And they're just right at the story. Yep. Good gums color. 
Let's make it a little bit more something like that. Color fill object, yeah. I just tell everyone I'm 80 and it works out. <laughs> I always tell people I'm 18 and it's my job that turned me this way. <laughs> I'll have to try that one on for size. <laughs> poking through the face right there since we don't want that Looks kind of creepy if you look at it like this. <laughs> Brushes. Yeah, I'll just use a simple cube. How old, how old do you think I am? So here's the thing with with um, mouth parts is that you want to make sure that the roof of the mouth looks like a roof of the mouth. Um, Yeah. 
New app. New app. I thought that they had. Uh... No, no, it's a new season. Ah. Scale polygroup island. Polygon center. It's kind of relaxing, just, you know, not having a deadline. usually a younger age than I am and I'm like yep you got it <laughs> Just gotta do the same thing, similar thing on the bottom. Bridge edges. It's a bit of a process, but it's a good process. Yeah. 
Let's do this, this might be easier. <laughs> that is on my side of the monitor. <laughs> And the nice thing about Twitch too is that Twitch seems to be more um, live. Seems to be much more uh, in sync with what's actually happening. <laughs> tricky. So dumb sometimes how you have to go so far out of your way <laughs> to make all that work. And it didn't even work. Good crap. <coughs> I 
I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna say split hidden. And we'll just bring it back when we're good and ready for it. Because it's really irritating trying to work around <laughs> pieces like that. some Asian themed music. Maybe. I'll have to see about see about that maybe for maybe for next time. There's a there's a platform that uh, a website that that a lot of the streamers like to use called pretzel or something like that and uh, it's just royalty free music it doesn't have any issues with uh, what's it called yes this is definitely a, a mouthpiece <laughs> The, uh, the music that I'd been able to find on that, just, I don't know, I, I haven't found anything that I liked on it, but I haven't looked for you know, different Asian style music, might be nice to have a little bit of, a little bit of that. That's in a large part, that's just the trick, is getting the right pieces to kind of just go together. Um, with the with the topology flowing in a way that's effective and clean and making it so that it works. Oh, 
Did everybody see the new Star Wars trailer? I'm not actually asking you, but the Star Wars trailer. <laughs> if I know how much of a fanatic you are of Star Wars. Oh, I thought the trailer was good. It's it's one of those things that it's just, uh, it's really, it's packed and it's it was a really nicely made teaser trailer because it wasn't something that gave away the whole story and told you everything that you're going to see and yeah, I felt like I felt like that was really. really good. So I really hate it when trailers go through and they share too much. Okay, so there's our mouth parts. Oh, not close holes. Delete hidden. That's the uh, that's the tough part about um, about modeling something in this way. Um, <coughs> because while while going through and modeling it, you're also designing it, and, uh, you know what, two, three, like that, and then we're going to go ahead and say, control D. and kind of move it back in, in just a little bit.
Maybe Han Solo is not dead. I don't know. That'd be kind of weird. <laughs> Yes, there is a mesh hole in the pipe. If you're talking about like the back of the throat. Yeah, I did. I did give give one back there. Okay, so that we could have you know, essentially this uh, gaping hole in the back, have the real throat. Uh, I'm thinking about going through and adding in the uh, What's that dangly bit back there in the back? <sighs> Auto save. All right. Let's say inset the island. Let's say extrude polygroup island. Hold shift when you uh, start extruding things out like that. You don't have to worry so much about um, that's better. so much about uh, you know what I lost what I was going to say if you hold shift you can uh, you can just kind of pull things out Here it's more the uh, yeah the throat punching bag thing. <laughs> That's all it's ever used for in the uh, in the cartoons. That and uh, and as like we to show that somebody is singing like really like loud. They had their mouth really far open and then. You get the little thing in the back and it's like, oh. <laughs> Say crease polygroup island. Okay, so you saw that how I went through and it creased like every edge. You can go through here and you can say um, polygroup border. So now it'll crease the border. Or if you click and then hit Alt, it'll uncrease it. Alt, click, hold Alt. All right. 
that's better. We'll call it all right for now. I mean, if we decide, um, yeah, I think you're right. I think that's right. Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, turn ghost on, turn off. Transparency is what I wanted. Okay, so with this torso piece, let's go down to display properties, turn off double, and I want to flip it. Okay, see that here's we got this mouth bag in here. What I want to do is I just want to take it and I want to really just kind of mush it around my teeth a little bit. I'm moving that orange polygroup too much. Um, The rest of this doesn't matter much because the uh, piece that I created for the inside of the mouth is creating the back of the mouth. So you know, this this section, the rest of that mouth bag, I'm not going to worry about it a whole lot. Okay. Well, I very naively thought that. Uh, <laughs> that I was going to get to finish this guy today. Um, it's already 11 o'clock. Yeah, using flip is a huge thing. It's it's a really great way to be able to simplify it. And actually, I saw somebody use it to be able to make like a like a faux fire effect. Uh, really, really simple. Really great. Yeah, just underneath display properties. So really cool. Um, let me see. This might be good enough to be able to go ahead and and take them over into the uh, the other scene. Oh, that's what I wanted to do. You see, facial hair, facial hair two. 
I'm going to come down here to this. Trying to decide if I like the lighter color better, or if, uh, or if I want to go darker with that, with the facial hair. <laughs> yeah, the chat can be fun sometimes. It's always it's always good having you guys around. something. Try just for the sake of let's actually come back and uh, take this set back to before the inflating. I do like the shape better, and it's not really anything special, but I think we'll call it on that one. here for the free stuff. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should go through and and uh, pick on that. Okay. Ooh, Ashley's scope turned out awesome today. Okay, 
119 people saw it. Okay. 119 people saw it. Let's go check it out. See all. Look at that. All these people. Cool guys. Okay, here's how we're going to randomly select. I'm not looking. Oh, might be good to go through and look though. Okay. Okay, so it's between Sherman. And Mark Sarasota from Florida. Okay, here we go. Let me see. We gotta flip a coin. <laughs> it's okay. Okay. I'm going to use the button. Okay. So. I see. I'm going to take a screenshot of that. All right. Okay. Fish is heads. Pin is tails. Okay. Uh, Sherman, your heads. Okay. Mark your tails. If a uh, fish lands up, then stuff goes to Sherman, which is really easy because he's in LA. <laughs> okay, here he goes. It goes to Tails. It goes to Mark in Florida. It goes to Mark. It goes to Mark. All right. Let's add, oh, there we go. Mark from Florida. Now let's say, add a sticker and say, winner. That's a cool sticker, but it's really, really small. Way to go. <laughs> and Quintonius is like purely hanging on. He doesn't actually want to see my stream. He just wanted to win. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Very cool. So I'll send you a private message, Mark. And uh, yeah, we'll be chatting. <laughs> okay. Okay, now it's going. Okay, there we go. Cool. Okay, so now what I want to do is I want to take this folder and I want to duplicate it over to um, over to my scene. Okay. I'm going to hit control S because that's what we do <laughs> when we're nervous and we don't want to lose our progress. <laughs> I think that other details such as things like uh, like the trim for his for his shirt, uh, wrinkles in his clothing, things like that. <laughs> Thanks Quintonius. I, I appreciate having you here too. <laughs> We're buds. We're buds. We'll keep you. Okay, let's go ahead. Let's open up. Uh, in 
environment. Candyland 14. Okay, so here's what we want to do. I'm pretty sure there's a way to be able to copy the folder. Ah, there isn't. <laughs> I just wanted there was. Copy folder. Paste folder. I knew there was a way to do it. <laughs> That's subtool master is the new subtool master. Uh, introduced with uh, ZBrush 2019. Ooh. Did it finish? I think it finished. Okay, so he's way, way big right now. So, what we want to do, let's find that folder. Character. Transpose set. Let's make them maybe about this big. to be a little bit bigger. Something like that. So far, this is starting to get really exciting. <laughs> All right, well, let's see. Let's add in real quick to the stream. What is your last name, Mark? Mark Evan Lim. <laughs> Would I ever consider doing a workshop? Uh, if there's enough interest in one, I, I'm not sure uh, how I would go about doing something like that. Um, especially like like if it were to be like an uh, an on-site sort of workshop. <coughs> yeah, you were almost there, Sherman. You were almost there. Um, yeah, let me let me add in this uh, text. Do 
good grief, I can't type today. <laughs> Alignment, center, font. It looks like they got rid of the one I like to use. I'm gonna have to reload it. Oh well. Let's just change it to Arial Black. That's fine. Actually, I think Mark is coming to LA next month, so <laughs> it could be cool. Oh, that's interesting. When, uh, with CTN, I'm not sure how people get in for that. And CTN, did that just pass, or was that? No, it's like November or something like that, right? Yeah, I don't know. I know Tina though, so I could probably like reach out to her and you know, see if that was something that she had a spot for or that they had interest in or something like that. All right, cool. So we have our character in the scene with the dragons. The dragon, I still need to go through and pose the other dragon. But I think that we'll go ahead and we'll pose these guys next week. Um, so far as a candy theme on these guy, on this guy, it's still something I need to think about. Um, teeth is done, arm wraps temporarily done, um, pose, and then I need to make the kite. Okay. And then once I make the kite, you know, everything should be pretty groovy. <laughs> cool. Yeah, well, I'm going to call that good for tonight. Um, if anybody has questions or anything that they uh, think would be cool to see next week, we'll try to go over it. And uh, yeah, thanks for tuning in and thanks for coming and having fun. And I'll see you all next week, uh, Wednesday, 8 o'clock p.m. P uh, Pacific time. And uh, <laughs> be sure to tune in. There are lots of other uh, really awesome streamers, really, really cool people. I was watching Ashley's stream earlier, and uh, her sculpt turned out really, really cool today. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway. Night guys. Uh thanks and you know, hope to see you next time. <laughs> Congratulations, Mark. Bye.